Hello, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, in the first episode, we just went straight through the intro, went through our sort of opening scene, with our introduction to combat and our background, and now we've returned to work six months later after we've been completely cyberneticized. Um, and we're still looking to find out what happened to the people who were abducted from Seraph Labs in the first place. Okay. So in this episode, we're probably just going to do some more introductory stuff, meet our main characters, uh, Pritchett, Seraph, other folk, and sort of get acquainted. Maybe even go on our first mission of the game. So let's do it. All right, cafeteria, helipad, tech lab. Those will be useful later. All right, well, first we have to talk to Pritchard. And you can go into all of these offices, hack them, get into the ventilation system, and um, look at their stuff. There are a couple of minor missions that uh, revolve around information that you can find in these places. Um, so there's stuff to do in and around the hub if you are so inclined. But you don't have to. I don't think any of it is mandatory. Anyway, so Miss Farida, who is our uh, pilot, personal pilot, there's uh, Frank Pritchard, guy we need to talk to. He's kind of a jerk. About time. What happened? You get stuck Better in the air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. Are you done here? Your staff is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostage. Oh no! Radicals! Maybe this time we will actually save people. I'm gonna confront. You've got a problem with me, Pritchard. Why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen. I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> it's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough, Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacor, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. Confront. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it. You'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Alright, so we've kind of figured out why Pritchard is a bit of an asshole to us. Um, in the previous installation where I did this game, I simply went the less argumentative route, and the result of that is to learn different things about the story, different ways you go through the game. Alright, so there's a crisis at the manufacturing plant, and someone has to take care of it. And that someone Adam, is I'll us. Adam, to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. All right, here's Farida. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Mallory. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to She's come back. He's very shiny. Head. You sure you're ready for this? Challenge. Are you suggesting or not? Just asking the question. I was one of the ones who pulled you out of that mess. Not a memory I want to relive, and I don't have to wake up to the reminder of it every day. I'm fine. If you say so. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. 
They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. You might have noticed that I've taken the confront option every single time. And that's because, um, in my first video, I explained my, uh, sort of approach to playing this game this time through, which is what I call the pacifist asshole. I'm not going to, uh, kill anyone, but I am going to be a jerk in conversation and push people's buttons and prod them to see what they say. Because I went a much more, uh, amiable route my first time through. Right. So we're in our futuristic helicopter slash jet, going through Detroit, going to check out what's up at the manufacturing plant. And uh, something which mirrors the I told Farida to put us the down on the roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you up a minute, I'm gone. So what am I Look looking at? Look at my arms. Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. Buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard. Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Pacifistic? We're going non-lethal. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize it. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight and closed hallways. But the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance? Or up close? Distance is generally going to be better. Uh, in this game, so distance Give me something is. with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them up personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factory labs. But Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. arms. First time we've seen them. Got my trank dart. Got the police. And, uh, let's... Oh, I can't save, apparently. Mm. Let's go. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. They're not so happy to see me. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Things change. Not always for the better. I got it. Like me. Well, let's just skip this conversation. It doesn't add anything to things we already know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On the roof overlooking the plant. Good. To do. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, 
I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Okay, so I need to get to the building. Um, I'm not sure if that is a friendly or an unfriendly yet. We will find out. In general, long-range attacks don't work particularly well, especially with the tranks. It's not too accurate. But uh, we'll see. Someone is alarmed. We're gonna do our best to shut them down before they uh, get too alarmed. The guards. Check out our tutorial for too close to any guard is a risk. Yep. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standard stealth game stuff. Boom! And this is the first uh, instance I've had a chance to uh, use my new bionic arms. And what you can do is when you have someone who does not notice your presence, what you can do with them is you can either knock them out or use your blades to kill them. Um, I'm not going to be using the blades at all during this run, so it's just going to be a lot of knocking them out with the arms for me. Alright, we hide their body there. And we move forward. If they see the body, they will one, revive the body, and two, become very, very alarmed. Things we don't want to happen. So, let's see what we got first. Stealth, yes, I know how stealth works. One dude there, and one dude there. Yeah, we're gonna need to get by both of them if it's gonna if it's gonna work. So the question is, do I trank one and knock out the other? Do I trank two of them? Do I knock them both out? Or do I just sneak by? Well let's try sneaking by to get into that door. Also, if they see you shooting someone, if they notice that someone is getting tranked, they will be alarmed. They're not very smart, though. And there are a bunch of different animations that you can see, ranging from really complex to really basic. Alright, so this guy searches stuff, move his body out of the way. No one will be the wiser. Okay. Um, and you may notice that there's these two little bars right underneath my health. First one is recharging right now. Those are the uh, ammunition, so to speak, by which you knock people out. Only the first one will recharge. You can recharge the other ones with biomedical gel and things like that. But you can't just knock people out five at a time. That is restricting you. I figure my strategy here is simply to get by them as much as possible, not alarm anybody, try not to interact with anyone, and just go straight to the objective. Just be silent. This guy doesn't see me, he's too busy digging in a box. That'll be his undoing. Those guys aren't really looking either. Going my way. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's go see which direction we're looking. Alright. Alright. Go straight in. One drawback to this, however, is that um, when you don't go the direct route, you go the indirect route, you miss out on a bunch of loot. A bunch of money you get from their bodies. When you see what we find in here, then you'll know. You'll all find a listen. It's all a little tricky. Fight back all you two humans out there. Fight back. They don't expect someone coming in behind them. Here, nobody in here. This can be sort of our base. Ooh. 
Blue Grail. Sweet. You never know what object you can interact with and take with you. Like so does. Someone can see it. Okay. He opens the door, we'll knock him out. Didn't see that coming. And it's best to deposit the body out of the way. Their line of sight isn't very good, so that might work. At least for a while. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Thank you. Oh no! Not go the trash can. It's an obvious noise. Ah, trank darts. I haven't had a chance to use my trank dart yet. And I really want to save them because ammunition is scarce in this game. It is laughably scarce. Alright, full one. Let's knock him out. And apparently break his arm in the process. And let's put him a little place out of the way. Taking out the trash. And he's got nothing to buy. Okay, so everyone's taken out. We can make a little bit more noise. No, just looking into everybody's lockers, taking their money. And I'm sure the police won't uh, think twice about it. It's ammunition. I'm going to take it at this point. I'm not going to be using um, actual bullets except on the bosses, but it could be useful to sell. There are multiple vendors throughout the game, and they do have useful things. Check everything out while we're here. Okay. Nope. Here, revolver ammunition. I don't think I used a revolver once in my initial playthrough. No, nope, no, nope, and no. Nope. Okay. So we've thoroughly looted that. Now let us move forward. Jensen. I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Richard out. Hacking is one of the funnest things you can do. Alright. It is a little minigame. And it involves... Well, well, anyway. So the trace will come from the security area here. You start from the hacking area here. You have to get to the objectives, which are these green spheres, before the tracker makes its way back to your point of entry. So it's a race against time, and it's one of the skills that you can upgrade very easily. Saying we have 35 seconds, so this should be not a problem Access at all. Granted. But sometimes it can be incredibly difficult and rewarding. So, okay, take two. We're going through the decontamination process. Looks like there's at least three of them in the build in the room after this door. We're just gonna try and get around them, most likely. See what happens. Uh-oh. It looks like they've killed some of the workers. The union is gonna give us hell for this. Um, They seem to uh, be having some internal dissent anyway, so maybe we can just use this sneak eye, hopefully. The hands are... Maybe we can go the long way around. It seems like all of them are concentrated here on the right side. Right here. They're literally right here. I don't know. Combat roll. That's the solution. Ultra silent.
sneak right behind the guy as he's rifling through those papers. Perfect solution to a perfect problem. All right, right underneath their nose. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, looks like some uh, hostages are being held here. Do not use the door. Hmm. That sounds like advice that I should take. Please help! See if we can help Tom. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, bomb. Uh, we uh, gotta hack it, or else everyone's going to die. Okay. So, let's do that. Gotta be efficient. We got 17 seconds. Go. Go. Alright, looks like we're gonna make it. Access granted. Woo! Dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Whew! Problem solved. Richard, Lives have been Sarah. saved. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expo them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Sarah, but don't take too long. Alright, we have saved some lives. We have done good in the world. Now we gotta go now back down and uh, go to our military hardware. Yeah, we need to keep sick from these terrorist types. Someone's alarmed. So let's just let it go until he is no longer alive. At the very least, not looking in our direction. Okay, seems like the alarms are off, but uh, not for us. Just in general. All right, trank him good. Use your middle mouse button to bring up the uh, scope. It didn't look like the like there was any way for me to avoid hitting him. Take his stuff, move his body a little bit. There you go, champ. You'll be right as rain in a few days. A couple of more guys, but let's leave them be for the time being. There are also certain prizes that you can get while hacking, certain bits of credits or covert data that are normally more difficult to get than your regular data, but uh, we haven't encountered any of them yet. And they are substantially more difficult um, to achieve, and at the same time when you're getting what I'm doing, Access just going straight great. to your objective. So secondary objectives to be had, but later. And since I'm not going to be concentrating on hacking, I'm probably not going to be doing that yeah. much hacking. Alright, well that didn't go too well. Let's try it again. As I said, most of the tech tree will be open to you by the end of the game. Oh! What the hell is that? It seems like machine gun fire. Which is not what we want to have happen. No machine guns should fire. Let's just skirt around the edges here. Fortunately, most things in this room seem suspiciously man-sized, which is fortunately the size that I am. man size. Oh, and you can take these things. No, I didn't know you could take these. You could actually pick up objects from... Uh, crouched behind things. Let's just keep out of this guy's sight. And move straight through. Great. They're not very smart, fortunately, but uh, situations will become more difficult as we continue. And we get the elevator. Boom. See you later, terrorists. <laughs> 